So um, they shut these waters. I'm at the Q Mart where y'all been seeing me post all the information about them setting me up, right? And they trying to let my sisters say that I'm a mental patient and let them have me outside like this and set me up to be murdered uh, for Austin's mother. That ain't no uh, titty coming out or nothing. Okay, you don't see nothing. I'm just uh, uh, in here. And um, they, they got Larissa letting them set me up like I'm a mental patient, my older sister. And they got Shakina uh, trying to set me up like a mental patient. The woman set me up from the Palace Inn right here over on, it's on South Gessner. Um, it's on um, Southwest Freeway by South Gessner's the Palace Inn. And she tried to set me up outside like a prostitute. And I'm here to see if my son is alive because Cynthia threatened to rape my child because I shot Austin in the leg in self-defense in Conroe, Texas, in Baytown, Texas, in Baytown um, seafood. So Houston Police Department in uh, Montgomery County, they want to shoot me and I am pregnant and they tortured me pregnant and the baby is still alive and they've been starving me and leaving me outside and saying that it was a tumor and they're trying to say that I'm a mental patient for protecting myself pregnant and protecting my little boy and they basically just shut down the water because in order to say that I'm a mental patient, they know I'm like one of the cleanest women that you know. You know what I'm saying? First of all, this is my hygiene stuff and I got uh, all my feminine products in here that I use. You know what I'm saying? I got my fucking makeup um, here. I'm not a mental patient and you know the evidence to my case. Jim McDougal was the investigator that got the evidence that I went into the restroom Ron Aston a dial 911. Austin John Metter is a convicted felon. He's white and he has so many charges and got out of prison attacking me in my home, ran me out of my home with our little mixed race like baby boy named Melbourne and they threatened to rape him and my family was in on it with the police out there talking about because I was black that I didn't have a right to protect myself and they had me back there pregnant, starving me, poisoning me while they were saying they was, was doing witchcraft, showing me images of them raping on my child. And um, so Tracy Gilbert gave my baby to the woman that is Austin's mother. Austin is white. He gave him to my mother, his mother to rape my baby and been sending me up to be murdered since December 2019 with a baby, a fetus tortured, still alive in my body. And I came in here to wash, I'll show you. I came in here to wash my face and my body. And when I turned the water on and started running some water across my arm so that my skin won't look so blackened, and they trying to get people to believe that Cynthia Overa, who threatened to rape my child with gangs because I shot Austin. And my, Larissa is trying to let me be killed so my baby can be raped by gangs. Shakina is trying to set me up to be killed because the Illuminati want to rape my baby and let them let Larissa get her charges dropped for child abuse, for ch abusing her little three month old with Vincent, and they on trial for that. And then I protected my son, and because white people don't want black women protecting themselves, they HPD want to shoot me because I shot him in the leg. So they know that they ain't got no reason trying to allow Cynthia a rapist. They've been trying to set me up to be killed for her since. Uh, I was released and I came to Houston from Conroe, Texas when they tried to murder me and rape my little baby out there in Conroe because I shot Austin in self-defense and they had the police department lie and I, I had an apartment, uh, was raising my baby there and he got me pregnant when he got out July 2018 and that he had been in prison for assault and there was 911 calls, witnesses that were white and Indian. And I went into the restaurant after he chased me out of my home asking the man to dial 911, but I already had a gun because I had been calling Conroe Police Department asking them to come get Austin out of my home. Austin is bipolar schizophrenic and he was diagnosed by Tri-County when he was a little boy and was not taking medication but was doing crack here and went methamphetamine shooting it in his uh, arm and smoking crack and doing heroin. So my family is letting the uh, United States and white America set me up as the mental patient and the drug addict because I'm black and I shot him in the leg. And they took me into Montgomery County Jail and gave my little boy, he was attacking me and my son. I went in the restaurant, I asked the man to dial 911. He did. Austin came in there attacking us and the man was even trying to help us when I shot Austin, told the investigator that and they shut down the Baytown Seafood restaurant so nobody can give a real account of what happened. 
and Jim McDougal, the investigator that was working for my lawyer, Inga Chandler, that is also allowing them to kill me and lie. They dropped the charges on me and decided that they were going to hide that there was a shooting, um, but then say in court that I shot him while he was just holding my baby. But the judge knew that there was a witness and that he was being uh, violent with my baby, and they knew about his charges, and they knew about the 911 calls, but they still gave my baby to Cynthia Olvera so she could rape him. And then my family knew that they was torturing me with this baby in me and they setting me up to be killed as a mental patient off of Southwest Freeway in Houston, Texas. But they need to make me look dirty and nasty while I'm telling the evidence and they need to set me up to where I'm outside with my phone dead. My phone bill is going to be due on the 11th and it's about to be off while they setting me up like this. My family is letting them set me up to say that I'm not pregnant and that it's a tumor, what the white people did to my belly because my family was going to let them rape my little boy and kill my baby in me and cut my body up and let an unknown detective find me and let Austin be a worshipful master in the Illuminati with the KKK and my family was going to be famous in America for doing that and rich but they was not going to tell the truth that they set me up to be murdered with them and said they was going to try to set my baby up to be raped by the police department by Cynthia and Austin, Joseph Overa, the Black Freemasons and my dad Andrew Jones was going to do it too. And then so right now, because they're trying to say that, oh, no, that didn't happen. The baby survived in me, and they let me out like that. And then they denied me into all of the shelters in Houston and Conroe and Montgomery, Texas. And then they said that I was not pregnant and did not give me medical care. And then they had my sister Shakina say that, um, take me somewhere to uh, say I wasn't pregnant and then put me out of her home and then made me go with gang members and they was raping me, forcing me to have sex, giving me drugs, starving me and threw me outside on the streets and then got me charging my phone right here with no money, stole my ID, my social, my debit card and then when I came in here to wash up a little bit, they hurried up and cut off the water and I said, hell no. Nah. Um, because they got to uh, let's make me look like I'm dirty and make me stink. Uh, HPD is trying to shoot me and I'm pregnant. Uh, they're trying to shoot me uh, for being pregnant and protecting me and my child in Conroe, Texas. So Houston Police Department in Montgomery County is trying to kill a pregnant black woman for protecting herself. And my sister, Shakina, hated me so much and wanted me dead that she was going to help the police department rape my child and cover up the evidence while I was in there and still trying to do it and let them say I'm a mental patient and I've never been diagnosed with any mental illness and they know I can prove that they said they was raping my child and that they're trying to kill me for my child and Cynthia, the one and that is doing is a grand witch in Illuminati and she wanted to rape my child with thousands of gang members within the police and went through Tracy Gilbert and said that I shot Austin um, while he was just holding my baby and that I was a bad mother and a mental patient. She got them trying to get an order right now to come and pick me up and say that I'm a mental patient and I got a tumor to take me back to the same jail where they did this and where she was trying to get my baby raped by the police and by Austin in there. And they got my family trying to say that it's Austin's baby now and she could have custody because they was gonna let him get raped and they done sent pictures of him from school and daycare, but they know I'm telling the truth and that he, he needs his body examined and he needs to be returned to me. So my family is trying to let this child molesting woman be taking him to school like she not a pedophile and uh, taking pictures of him like she not a pedophile that tried to get him raped. Oh, God stopped her from getting my from raping my child when he was two and I'm trying to see if he's alive and they saying that I'm a mental patient and that they got a restraining order on me. The charges against me was dropped. Um Jer Jim McDougal was the sheriff uh who posed as an investigator for Inger Chandler, a lawyer in the Woodlands, Texas, in Conroe, Texas. So now she's moved up through the Illuminati. She was in Conroe, Texas, and then moved her location to the Woodlands around the rich people now that she's helping to set me up to be killed. And Inger was going to get my baby raped by the police department, Cynthia Overa, Austin, and not take me to trial and tell the truth about my case and then let Cynthia and Austin sue me for my baby and they said that Austin was going to hand my baby over to Cynthia and to the police department and let them rape my child. Um, this is a lot of information. Let me just hurry up and do my makeup and stuff because I'm not going to be, they, then they're trying to have me out here with my phone charge. Let me just post this.